Hey everyone, welcome back to the Freecarte 3D YouTube channel. If you have ever wanted to upgrade your Creality One with a bold, stylish and functional mod, you are in the right place. Today, I will show you how to bring and install the Devil Wars Prada boots on the K1. They improve stability and give your printer a serious personality boost. But there's a catch. I already installed this Honeycomb style side mount kit to relocate my filament and sensor. That means I have to modify one of the rear boots to make everything fit perfectly. As a designer, there's always a solution. In this video, I will write through printing the boots, the modification I made, the step-by-step -step installation, and trust me, the final look is awesome. Let's get started. I printed this using ICDT PG Yellow, and they look very good. The details are very nice, and the material is just strong enough to support the printer's weight without problem. But before we install them, let's talk about my modification. Since I already installed the same mount kit, I had to adjust the right boot on the back to fit on the honeycomb spool mount. Let's take a closer look to the modification. This is the original left boot. This is my modification. As you can clearly see, I made some adjustments here. Now it perfectly aligned with the honeycomb spool mount. The original model requires 14 M310 screws and 4 M316 screws. But in my modification you will need 12 M310 screws 2 M312 screws and 4 M316 screws. So the only ones modified are these two up here that need to be longer to fit on the side spool mount. I will add all the links to the models and screws in the description so you can print and install everything yourself. Ok, let's get this boot installed. First we need to remove anything that's in the printer to work properly. And then we need to carefully trace the printer slightly just to know to work on there. I will try to use a spool to see it's different. Now. Then remove the original rubber. and unscrew the stock supports. I will move the printer on the front to do it properly. And this is the last one. Now install the supports on each boot. It doesn't matter which one you use, all are the same. And you need to put here and screw them back. And the last one. Now let's install the boots. You need to check which one goes to each place. For example, we have two screws here and two screws here. That means this will not fit because it has two holes here, but only one hole here, that it's not the proper position, that maybe goes to the front. This one it has two holes here, two holes here, then it will be here. All you need to do is remove these screws, put the foot in place, and then screw it back with the new screws provided, and screw on the bottom. Let's do it.
Make sure you give them properly, but do not put it too tight to avoid break any piece or any of the boots. Now let's move a little bit to the front to skew the bottom. Take the long one, the M316 skew. And that's it. Now I will show you my modification and then we go to the front. As you can see before, this is the path that will fit here. I need to remove the two screws on the back and the two screws on the side mount kit. We now align it here and in the back. Make sure it fits properly. Okay. It's a bit tricky, but it fits. You can see it fits perfectly. Now let's go to the tricky ones. In the front. Install the front ones. Let's go off here. It will go here, it has two screws in here. And there are one screw hided under this. You can remove it or you can leave it. The designer said it's enough with the screws here and the one on the bottom so we will try this and maybe in the future we will take this out cut it and put the screw in the front I think it's fine. And the last one. We have the same problem. There are two screws here and there are screws here in the bottom. You can try to peel and install it here to do that. Just remove the screen and check if anything in here okay we can see here two screws Let's check which one we need this is the one on the top put this part and assemble With everything secured, now it's time to put again the rubbers on the boots. And move the printer to the position and check if everything is fine. And here it is, the final result. The Gravity Gate 1 now sits on this 
nice Devil Wars Prada boots, giving it a sleek, stable and unique look. With my modified boot, everything fits perfectly alongside with the honeycomb spool mount and now I have fully customized it K1 setup. If you are thinking of upgrading your K1, I highly recommend that you use this mod. The boots add style, stability and personality to your setup. I've added all the models, screws and filament links in the description, so you can try it yourself. And if you have any questions, mods, designs or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest 3D printing mods and tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, happy printing!